Hi, my name is Allie Denton, and this is my Genetics Mini Video 6 on Thorny Dragons. Chad and Brad are thorny dragons. They are brothers, but they look a little different than one another. They decided to figure out why Chad has spikes and Brad does not. In this picture, you can see Chad on the left and Brad on the right. Think of the network connections as X's and O's. X's being closed, like inhibitors, and O's being open, like activators. There are five genes in the thorny dragon's developmental network that will help us determine if a dragon will have spikes or not. The genes are the letters S, P, I, K, and E. Let's label it so we can understand it a little better. We can put a green circle over the arrows indicating that these are the activating genes. Now we can put red X's over the others to indicate inhibition. Now we can take a look at our wild type. We have an S gene activating P, and then P inhibits I, I also inhibits K, and K activates E, giving us the wild type thorny dragon with spikes. Now let's look at some examples of mutations that could change the dragon spikes. Let's take a look at the outcome if we remove the P gene. I have highlighted the P gene to indicate that it has been removed. Now we can see where the green O's and the red X's are to represent the activation and inhibition of the genes. Without the P gene, I is not inhibited, which then allows I to block K. Therefore, without K, E is blocked, which means that this mutant will not have spikes. This could be a reason why Brad does not have spikes. Let's look at a mutation on the I gene. It starts at S and activates P, but without I, there's nothing to inhibit the K gene, which causes E to be activated and therefore causes a thorny dragon with spikes. Here we have the possibility of a mutation on two genes, I and E. With I removed, it no longer inhibits K. This causes K to be able to activate E, but since E has been removed, it can't do that, so this causes the dragon to have no spikes. The last mutation we will look at is a mutation on the S and K gene. Since the S gene was removed, it cannot activate the P gene. This causes the I gene to inhibit the K gene, but since the K gene was removed as well, it cannot activate the E gene anyway. This is causing the dragon to have no spikes. What happened to Brad? An explanation for why Brad could have no spikes could be that he either has a mutation at both the S and E gene, or both the I and E gene, or just the P gene. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something new.